uh, we're back in the kitchen with Chef Michael from 1933 Lounge. The steaks are done. The yeah. steaks are done. The steaks have rested. Uh, we pulled those off the grill. We're going to let them sit for, you know, five, ten minutes if time allows. How important is that? Because you hear, like, the term resting your steak, and then people are like, well, isn't it going to sure. get cold? Well, the first thing I, would, I guess I want to talk about, because this is going to be the enemy of every grill cook everywhere, <laughs> is carryover cooking, right? We're cooking at a high temperature on the grill. Um, I kind of like to compare it to trying to stop a freight train on a dime. Okay. Very hard to do. So we need to plan for that to keep cooking after we pull it off the grill. So if your target temperature is like 145, you like a mid-well, pull that off at about 130, 135. It's going to keep cooking that 10 to 15 oh. more degrees to get you right where you need to be. Um, that allows it to finish uh, cooking right here while we're resting it. It also kind of locks in those juices so when you cut into that steak, it's not a plate covered yeah. in juice. So, um, but yeah, we can get right into these guys so we can taste them. How's that sound? Yes, I know. All that's right. perfect. That's perfect. All, all right. Plan. I love so it. we're going to start with the filet here, and this is the one where we went a little bit lower on temperature just because we could. Again, those are nice and tender here, so we're not too worried about um, that fat rendering and things like that. So we've got that cut up for you here. You want to dig in there and grab some of that. Do you have a method to your cutting style? So we always hear about steaks with the grain or against the grain, right? Um, most of the steaks that we're going to get when we get them as consumers are already going to be got cut against the grain. Okay. So this ribeye, the way that loin sits in the ribs, as you know, we saw with that huge tomahawk steak, um, is how that muscle is a full loin. So we've mm -hmm. cut steaks off there already against the grain. So at this point, it's all natural. We're just okay. going to keep cutting um, with the way the steak kind of looks already. So we've got our rib eye right there. I feel a little bit bad that we're the only ones up here with the steak. Well, we got uh, plenty, right? I let's know. let's bring. I know. <laughs> if you let's have bring in production assistant. Right. Where's Jay? Jay, are you around? Jay. You come to, yeah. <laughs> He's Leave so Jay excited. Like, Ooh. This right. is your uh, moment, Jay. Kaylee, I know you want to try the fillet. Yes. So, so bad. Jay, what do you want to try? All of it. Are we okay. going savage <laughs> with this? No, yeah, absolutely. Well, well, I'm down. Down. We you picked mean? up the bone already on the tomahawk, right? Yeah. All right. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Melts in your mouth. So bad for Randy. I know. Take the bad time Amber too. <laughs> yeah, Chef, this everybody. is amazing. Awesome. And it was like, simple, right? Very simple. That's I, the thing. And I think that's the intimidating thing about steak sometimes is you sit there and go, I don't know how to make it, and, and I, I don't know when it's done, I don't know any of that. Sure. But it is pretty simple if you just follow some of those it steps, is. right? It, you gotta go in with a plan and execute. I think that's kind of the, the biggest yeah. thing when it comes to grilling right. and cooking those meals. Know what you're gonna do, stick to your plan, and, and I think you're gonna be happy with your final product. Wow, this is amazing. Tell us about what it's like being at the lounge, because it's, it's a different atmosphere. I think we have some pictures Yes. Um, there's like some of the plates and stuff, but when you're there, what's the vibe like at the lounge? Sure. Uh, the lounge is a little more upbeat. You know, we've got kind of a little bit of that um, heavier bass music going. Mm -hmm. um, tables are a little close together, but you still feel intimate while you're in there. It's one of those, I think, kind of almost supper clubish type vibes. Yeah. Um, again, the over 21 um, feel. You don't have to worry about kids screaming or anything like that. Uh, I mean, it's just it's it's a great date night. Um, you know, I really think that it's one of those lights are low. You've got a huge steak coming out. You know, nice uh, corn creme brulee coming out as a side dish. Um, it's a good it's a good vibe. Uh, speaking of that, we also still have room for Father's Day um, at the restaurant in 1933 Lounge. If you want to go, 1933lounge.com or open table. Uh, still got room for reservations for Father's Day. We could get you in. So that makes it so much love, easier. Love you don't have to make the coming. steak. Exactly. We'll make it for you. Exactly. I'm assuming so 1933, is it giving you the 30s vibe in there? The, de the decor is definitely that 30s vibe. We've got a lot of Prohibition-themed pictures, mm -hmm. um, little exciting edges and things. If you kind of keep your eyes open, you'll notice. Um, hear a lot about the monkeys on the walls and the restrooms and the wallpaper. <laughs> uh, they're the bad monkeys, you know, smoking cigars, that. drinking vodka. So um, a lot of little cool touches um, that went into designing the restaurant, as well as the uniform with the uh, the vest and the bow tie. So, Do you have a favorite steak to cook? Like, what's your favorite cut of meat to to prepare. I really like a ribeye. I think yeah. it's got um, a great uh, amount of flavor. And again, when that fat is nice and marbled, I think texturally there's no beating it. So. Did you try the ribeye? I don't know what I tried. I tried something. Sure. You grab tried the filet. Of, grab a piece of the ribeye, Jack. This Already. makes like turkey sandwich in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> you seem pathetic. Good thing you didn't have. <laughs> that was somebody else's turkey sandwich. That's, don't worry about it. Somebody else take it. This is my lunch. So for Father's <laughs> Day, do you get roped into making the steaks? For the I, fam. I enjoy it. Yeah. Um, I, I do. Last year we did tomahawks for my dad. 
Um, and again, I think I did two. Tried one smoked and one not smoked. Um, but this year we're going to try something a little different. But um, no, it's something I enjoy. I think it's always good to be good at something to be able to kind of show it Share off. Share it and, with and others. Be proud yeah. For, yeah. The other thing I love too is that you you did it straight on a skillet. I think everyone automatically thinks like you got to grill steak, but it cooks so much differently when you sear it like that and throw it in the oven for Absolutely. a Absolutely. Um, again, we're just looking for heat. Yeah. Um, I will say if you're going to do that inside, make sure you've got some ventilation. Um, and I know when I was getting started and did one of these in an apartment, I cleared out the whole floor with the smoke <laughs> alarm. So steak was still delicious, but yeah, you had to wait a little bit. That's 